I thought I would just talk a little bit about and give glory to God for how this project came together. So I felt like God was talking to me about doing something with stories quite a while back, maybe about 10 years ago, and kind of miraculously got a, a job with a guy in Michigan where I was living at the time who was doing an online story campaign called I Like Giving, and it was all about living a generous life. And it just felt like God gave me this job to kind of train me on how to do this kind of stuff. And then I branched out on my own and underestimated how difficult it was setting up your own project and, you know, having your own nonprofit and all the kind of stuff that goes along with it. And I kind of just got discouraged and, and put this on the shelf and went and worked in Hollywood and moved to California and worked in a Hollywood music studio and thought, you know, maybe I won't do ministry related stuff. You know, maybe I'll just go be a Christian in Hollywood. And I'd studied me media and studied music and I'd always wanted to work in that industry. And, and God opened some doors for me there and it was really, really great. Um, but then God started talking to me very clearly about coming back here to Kona. And I lived here when I was in high school. My parents who are here um, managed King's Mansion and we lived up there. And I did a DTS with Trent Shepard, if you guys know who Trent Shepard is. I did a DTS with him and his brother in England right after high school and did, was involved with YMAM for a little bit. So I had history here in Kona. And I had just some incredibly clear words and signs from God about coming back here to Kona and it all lined up. And I went on staff down at the YMAM ship space down the road and joined the media team there, which Ben Fontaine is a part of. And um, after I'd been there maybe six or eight, six or nine months or so, God started putting this project with testimonies on my heart again. And I was out in Oregon with some YWAMers in Oregon praying and asking God for finances to get this project off the ground. And I'd actually tried to raise some money to do this uh, before and I, I completely failed. Like I've just miserably failed. And, uh, <laughs> and so I gave up and I put it on the shelf and then I, I was out on a farm one night praying and I said, God, I'd love to do this and I'm just gonna ask in faith for double what I originally tried to raise. And within a few months, I, I, I got it and, and it mostly came, um, some came from family, like my parents, but it, it mostly came um, from a large donation from a lady that I'd never met before who was just a friend of a friend. But she had a heart for people to know about Jesus and so she she wrote me a check that was the largest check anyone's written me so far. Um, and it wasn't for me, it was for the project. But um, it was really amazing to see God provide like that. And so we've been working on this ever since then. And, you know, I knew that it would be amazing working on this kind of thing because even before I, I started doing this project, I used, to, I used to just ask people, have you ever seen God do a miracle? Have you ever seen God answer a prayer? And the kind of things that would come out of the woodwork were always amazing. And since I've been working on it, um, it's been incredible to hear the stories that, that people have shared. I, I heard a story from a guy down south on this island who needed money for a house he was renovating and was praying with friends and ended up finding a box of gold coins hidden in the house <laughs> um, that completely covered his costs. I met a guy from Oklahoma whose dad had been in the USSR military and had gotten nuclear radiation poisoning and was dying of cancer and the doctors told him he had no hope and he ended up being completely healed by Jesus. Um, we have that story on our YouTube channel, um, you can check out stories of our Savior on YouTube. He said it, it, it was like Jesus reached into his body and gave him new organs and new blood. He's still alive today and has four kids. Um, which none of that should have been possible. Um, and the stories go on and on.